Turkey's unemployment rate reaches its seven-year peak, the Turkish Statistical Institute announces November unemployment data. Turkey's unemployment rate rose to 12.1% in November 2016. The previous season rate was 11.8%. This marks the highest rate since March 2010. The number of unemployed persons aged 15 years and above increased 590,000 more since last year, totaling 3.7 million. The unemployment rate for young population reached 22.6%, with a 3.5 percentage point increase. Turkey's witch hunt continues. In a simultaneous operation launched in eight provinces including Adana, 27 police officers including three general directors were detained. The detained police were taken to police headquarters after undergoing medical checks. The European Council calls for an end to Turkey's state of emergency. In his 25-page report overviewing the lack of media freedom and freedom of expression in Turkey, the Council of Europe Commissioner for Human Rights Niels Muzniaks urged Turkish leaders to urgently change course to rebuild freedoms and lift state of emergency. Muzniaks finished the report covering terror, human rights, judicial independence, freedom of expression and media in Turkey following his visit in April and September 2016. Among 47 member states, Turkey ranked highest as the country to violate the Freedom of Expression Clause of the European Court of Human Rights. School principal in Ankara released after being detained for alleged sexual abuse of male students. The high school principal initials SK detained over sexual abuse claims of male students staying in dorm was released upon prosecutor questioning. One of the students said in his statement, The principal told me not to tell anyone, and I couldn't because I was scared. There are reports that many students complained to the Prime Ministry over alleged sexual harassment and abuse. Germany's federal attorney general orders police to raid the apartments of four DITIB imams suspected of spying. According to Der Spiegel, North Rhine-Westphalia Constitutional Court President Burkhard Freyer announced a couple weeks ago that 13 Turkish imams were accused of spying. The German Interior Ministry spokesman said that they initiated a probe against some imams in the DITIB mosques in suspicion of passing information regarding the alleged supporters of the Gulen movement to Ankara. DITIB confirmed allegations but blamed the imams for their own mistake. The German police searched the apartments of the DITIB imams under investigation for spying accusations. Austria also confessed that the imams of the Turkish government's Office of Religious Affairs, Dianet, are used as spies. In a press conference in Austria, the Vienna Religious Services Councillor of the Turkish Embassy, Fatih Mehmet Karadash, confirmed spying allegations. He stated this was a task. Karadash was immediately called back to Turkey. It was later revealed the imams affiliated with the Anit work with Turkish intelligence agency MIT in 38 countries. News emerged that reports about people of Turkish origin prepared by the imams were sent to the Turkish Parliamentary Coup Investigation Commission and Presidency of Religious Affairs. Puppy trapped 10 days in 70 meter deep well is finally rescued. 10 days of rescue efforts finally succeeded. In Beko's Dereseki village of Istanbul, a puppy fell into a 70 meter deep drilling well. After continuous rescue efforts, the puppy was saved on the 10th day. The puppy was named Kuyu in Turkish, meaning well. 